Gordy and the Beach Surprise. Gordy and Daddy and Mummy and Baby Melody always loved to walk to the beach. It was Gordy's favorite place. He loved collecting shells, he loved picking up stones to paint, and he loved drawing in the sand. Now, on this particular day, the tide had just gone out and the lots and lots of rocks were on the beach. They had a very rocky beach. There wasn't much sand on the beach that Gordy was at with his family. And all across the rocks were slippery, slimy seaweed. Gordy loved looking at the seaweed because it was like nice and slippery. Now, on this particular day, when Gordy was trying not to slip on the slippery seaweed, he was walking across the rocks to get to one really big rock. He wanted to be the king of the rock and also explore around that because usually the best shells were around these big rocks. Interesting ones that he hadn't seen before. Gordy was slipping and sliding over the rocks, trying not to fall. Finally, he reached the rock. As he climbed up the side, his eye caught something colorful underneath some of the seaweed at the bottom of the rock. Gordy hopped back down and lifted up the seaweed, and suddenly something wiggled. Oh, said Gordy, and jumped back and dropped the seaweed. He didn't know what it was. But he was so curious, he wanted to know what it was. He didn't think it was a crab, because a crab would have come out the rest of the way with his pinchers if it thought he was going to hurt it. Hmm, I wonder what it could be, said Gordy. I, I need a stick or something. I don't want to touch the seaweed right where that thing is. I can see a little bit of its body. It's very colorful. I wonder what it is. Gordy couldn't think of how he could possibly lift up the seaweed to see what animal was underneath if he didn't touch the seaweed with his hands. Oh, maybe I can just sit down and use my feet to pick up the seaweed. With a stick? And that's what Gordy did. There were no sticks around anywhere. It was the beach, you know. All that was around were stones. Mm -hmm. Now, Gordy sat down and put his feet out and gently with his toes picked the seaweed. Gordy thought, if it's something that bites, at least it'll be my foot that gets bitten and not my hand. And I can pull it away quick. Gordy picked it up and you know what he saw? Underneath the seaweed was the most beautiful starfish he had ever seen. There weren't many starfish on the beach in fact, Gordy hardly ever found starfish, and usually they were dead, but this one was alive. He knew it was alive because it was just wiggling a little tiny bit. Oh, you poor thing, you can't swim anywhere because there's no water here, the tide has gone out. Don't worry, he said to the starfish, I'll put you in one of the puddles, and then you can float around there until the water comes back in and then you can float wherever you want. Gordy picked up the starfish gently. It was so colorful. Blues and pinks and bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Gordy liked looking at the starfish. It was so interesting. He put it in a little puddle and then he noticed something in the puddle too. There were lots of sea urchins. He loved looking at sea urchins. Their wavy spikes and purpley colors made him think of flowers underwater. He put the starfish down and it was quite happy. It didn't move at all. Gordy liked helping little animals and sea creatures because he felt like he was saving them. Gordy to the rescue, he said. Oh, I forgot to climb my rock. 
Gordy climbed back up to the top of this rock and looked all around the base as well for shells. Up, down, up, down, he was going up and down until Mommy called him. Come on, Gordy, it's time to go home. You've been out there for an hour. The tide is coming in, and the tide was coming in. Gordy hadn't even noticed, but around the bottom of the rock, a little bit of water had already come up. He would have to get off fast before the rest of the tide came in, or he'd be swimming back to land. Gordy hopped down and went to the beach. It didn't take him very long to get to the shore. And then Mommy, Daddy, and Baby Melody packed up. What were you doing out there, said Daddy. Oh, said Gordy, I found a starfish that I saved. I put it in a puddle so it could be floating away when the water came in next. Good, said Daddy, it's always good to help. Did you know it's very nice when you help us? Did you know you help us at home and when you do, we feel so happy because it's how our family works all together and helps each other. Just the same way you help that starfish and then you feel good. We feel good when we help you do things and you feel good when you help us do things. And we all help each other. God made families to be this way, to help each other. Gordy said, yes, I like helping, but sometimes I don't like to help when I'd rather be playing instead of like wiping the floor or sweeping. Well, said Daddy, there's things I have to do that I don't like either, and I don't think Mommy likes to cook all the time. She would rather be playing with you guys. But these are all parts of things that we have to do. And we have to think about the things that we're thankful for instead of the things that make us grumpy. And then those things that we don't like to go do will get done very fast because we're thinking about what's making us happy. And that is the end of Gordy and his beach surprise.